So did you did you have any involvement in the uh, the death of the male that we just spoke about a short while ago? Is it Gabriel Cavari or Gabriel Klein? No, I didn't. At all. No. Were you involved in administering any drugs or poisons or noxious substances to him? No, I don't administer drugs to anyone or give drugs to anyone. Um, that's done at the party by someone else. The name I recognised when the party was mentioned before was. He's one of the parties who deals with uh, administrating drugs. Who, who's that, sorry? Uh, Daniel. Organised. Um, sometimes he's at, he's at, he deals, he hands out the drugs to uh, the guests. Daniel. This is the male yeah. that we spoke of earlier. So, yeah. It might not be the same guy, I really don't know, but he's the only Daniel I know. Or, I spoke to him a couple of times at the party. I remember his name. Uh, but uh, he, was, he does, like when I did, Scott would ask him to pick up guys, take them to the party, mm -hmm. and he would, but he would stay if I want. He would stay and minister or do out the uh, hand out of you know, drugs, or whatever, but I, uh, I would leave or he would stay. And did you go with Daniel to meet people? No, no he was, I knew he was doing the same as I was, but I've, I've seen him at that party and I had a brief conversation with him about it, but I've never actually engaged with him outside of uh, the place. Outside of a party? Right. And which parties were these? Uh, what we still call the, the fat parties. Scots parties? Yeah. The fat parties? Fat party, F-R-A-T. Frat parties. So when was the first occasion that you met the person that you're, you're talking of, uh, someone that you know as Daniel? Um, I think that was one of the first few occasions I was, I was there. It was the first time I bought a graph of Scott and Daniel was there. Um, so I don't even know if it is the same Daniel we're talking about, but he's the only Daniel I would can recall as such. Um, I, mean, I think his name was Whitworth, it rings a bell, but... You think his name was Whitworth? Yeah. I mean, if he's a tall, almost as tall as me, I've brown hair, slim, uh... Might help if I show um, your picture. I'll call this CRT. So this is Jack Taylor. Do you recognise that mate? Mm. attention to the guy's faces when I have been to the um, parties this um, but I don't recognise his face. So, so you don't recognise his face? I do not know. No. Okay. And, and I mean they, that's Jack Taylor, so you don't recognise no, Jack Taylor? No. So have you ever slept with this male? No. Sexual intercourse with him? He doesn't look like the type I'd go with myself. He's not the sort of person you'd go for? No, I tend to more. He's more younger, drinky boys, more, you know, more younger boys, but not, uh, he looks older. Be similar to the type I've taken to, to parties, but I don't recognise him as being one of them. So you don't recognise him as being one of them? No. No. Okay. 
and and Jack again was was found dead. It was on the, 20, on the 14th of September, 2015. Stephen, did you have any involvement in his death? I did not know. No. Did you kill Jack Taylor? I did not know. No. Did you administer any drugs or noxious substances to him? I did not know. With the intention of causing him harm? No. Did you not? No. And you say you've never seen him before. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Okay, I've got another map here, CRT8. So I'm just trying to show you as many maps of the area because it's not easy to get it all in one one uh, piece of paper, just so that we're, we're clear here. Uh, and again, it shows your uh, home address and it shows uh, the church, St Margaret, and the, the, behind it you've got the, uh, the abbey and the primary school. In particular, the area around um, the walls of the abbey. Have you ever had any reason to go into that area? No. Have you, ever, have you ever been uh, through into the Abbey? Uh, no, I haven't. No. No, I don't do any guilty touch areas. No. No. I think I went, went, one, once went to that church. With my ex Danny, went to the church on a, on a Christmas day um, and into the church, but that's as far as I got, as far as I. You've not been into the grounds behind it where you've got the the uh, old abbey oh, no, no, it walls. No, no, it looks no grounds there. No, it looks a spooky sign, won't go there. You've never, you've never been in that? No. In all the eight years that you've lived across the road from the park? No. I thought it was all private, I wouldn't go there. I think it's part of the area, I thought. But also the church. It's, it's fairly open, isn't it, when you when you go past? Would you agree with that or not? And the field is, yeah, yeah. the field is, but uh, the church bit behind the walls, you wouldn't go past there. Um, because three of the four people that have been found dead were found uh, slumped up against the wall here of the Abbey. Pardon? Yeah, I didn't know that. So. You didn't know that? So that's news to you, is it? Yeah. Did you put them there? No. So obviously Anthony was found slumped outside your address with uh, a large amount of GHB in his system. Mm. The other three men we've been discussing were all found over by the wall area of the abbey, we can see on the map. Uh, again, all of them were slumped against the wall with a large amount of GHB in their body. Can you account for that at all? No, I can't. I mean, Stephen, did you, did you write this letter here, yeah, CRT 11? No, I didn't. The photos of it that's found with Daniel? No. No. If you're not. Are you telling us the truth, Stephen? I am telling you the truth, yes. About the letter? Yes. I have sent you. About all of these boys? Yeah. Young boys? in the early stages of their youth, really, in terms of in their early 20s. All found dead. Stephen? Yeah, I understand, but... Close to your house. One of them had been in your house, either just before at the time when he died, and was found to have large quantities of a drug in his system. The other three were all found just over the road in the churchyard or just beside the churchyard in that area that we've discussed, yeah. propped up against the wall, short distance from your house, all again with 
high levels of GHB in them, enough to kill them. Highly unusual way to die for one person. This is four all found very close to where you live. All men, young men, the type of men that you say that you find attractive. All now dead, Stephen. I said, Anthony, I know nothing about the uh, three, how they come to be. Stephen, this is serious. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. It's really important that you tell us the absolute truth. So far, it's true. Hey. 